today we're going to be preparing creamy pineapple pudding. Our ingredients are a vanilla pie, a vanilla pudding, pineapple, crushed pineapples in the can, and then we also have our lactose-free 1% milk. Our first step is we're going to get our hands washed. You want to make sure you wash your hands for 20 seconds under warm water. Lather them real well. 20 seconds is about as much time it takes you to sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, the ABC song, or Tops and Bottoms. And you want to rinse them off. Rinse them down. That way the water and the soap suds don't go up your arm, which can be a little bit uncomfortable. Now let's get started. So for our pudding, have our bowl here. We're just gonna make our pudding according to instructions. And this one calls for two cups of milk. So let's just go ahead, pour our pudding in there. Now, as I mentioned, we're using lactose-free milk. A good thing with lactose-free milk is if you have a lactose problem, you can always use the lactose-free milk and the lactose is the sugar that's in your milk. And this is a great way to keep you from having indigestion or anything like that. So we're gonna do two cups. cups of milk here and with the pudding you can use sugar-free pudding but today we're going to just use the regular pudding but you can use sugar-free if you like if you're lactose intolerant you don't want to try to use this with soy milk because it will not set so now that we have our pudding in it and our milk milk we're just going to stir it and make sure everything is mixed thoroughly so you're going to mix it for about 20 to 30 seconds, a little bit longer than it takes you to wash your hands. You just wanna make sure you have it. And a good thing is about using a clear bowl is you can look underneath to see if there are any tidbits left to make sure you have everything mixed in. So now that we have that mix, we're just gonna take it to the refrigerator so it can set. It'll take about five to seven minutes to set. So having a refrigerator is awesome. So while our pudding is setting, we're going to go ahead and prepare our pineapples. Now you definitely want to have a strainer on hand and we're going to just open up our pineapples. But before we do, of course, we need to use a damp cloth to wipe off the top. Get all that dust and debris off there. So we're just going to open our can. And with the pineapples, you want to definitely make sure that you drain all the juice off these pineapples because you do not want your pudding to be runny or to set really bad. That in there and we're just gonna drain those pineapples now if you're at home in your own kitchen of course you can just put them in your hand and just squeeze them something to help your kids your let your kids do as well so we're just gonna drain all that juice off okay so our pineapples are drained. So let's just go back to the fridge and check on our pudding and see if it's set. And our pudding is set. See, it's nice and jiggly and it's not running. So we're just gonna get our pineapples that we've drained. Get it all in there. Give it a nice stir. And while we're stirring this to make sure all of our pineapples are through, with our lactose-free milk, I just wanna let you know that it does have the same amount of calcium and vitamins that regular milk does. So you're not losing any nutrients by drinking lactose-free milk. And that's our pineapple pudding. So let's taste it. Just get a scoop here. Oh, let's get two scoops. Mm. Pudding and pineapples, you really can't go wrong. So that's pineapple pudding. I'll see you next week. Same time, same place, different recipe.